we go. Welcome one and all to this June 3rd, 2023 full bug moon. This is a time of setting a stage and sending out the invitations. We are creating a new sense of self, looking at old dreams and ideals and actually changing them if need be. So, because some of them might actually be holding us back. We're creating a like telepathic and conscious psychic type connection with those who we are trying to attract right now. And with that being said, Let's start off by just talking a little bit of what we're going to work with before we get into everything. First and foremost, we will be working with Azurine, or sorry, Azurite. This is a copper-based mineral. It's monoclinic. It's a third eye stone, a crown, and higher crown. It's a great psychic development. It also enhances all forms of perception. This includes psychic and like metaphysical per, per, um, perception, as well as like if you fall asleep with one of these on your forehead, you might smell your roommate walking into the house kind of thing. It's a great thing to help raise our consciousness to a higher level as well as um, lead ourselves towards spiritual enlightenment and fulfillment. It's a heart conduit, or sorry, a healer and conduit for our facilitating understandings of the mind outside of the body, or sorry, of the mind on the body and how we like our mind our perceptions our emotions create the pains and stresses that we deal with so if we can eliminate the mental stressors we should be able to also get rid of the physical attachments to them which can come up as illnesses a lot of times it also reads through as um like those autoimmune disorders because they can't figure out where it's coming from well when they say it's coming from your head it's not like oh you're just making it up it's you're stressing yourself out or your ptsd or whatever's going on is causing such visceral reactions that your body's getting fucked up because of it and then next on this list we have our k2 k2 is an azurite in granite um combination it's when like azurite is melted by hot lava and then drips onto um solid granite creating these little blue spots and nodules what this does is it takes that consciousness and perception of the azurite and brings it into the more earthly con concept. It grounds it down. It creates a strength and foundation. It grounds...
transformation. And then it allows us to transform ourselves as we go through it. Next is the ever, ever popular Moldavite. Everybody loves it. And most people misuse it. Moldavite is a tecton or a meteoric glass found in Moldova, Czechoslovakia. Um, it's a fusion of terrestrial and extraterrestrial energies. Um, can, it's been worn since its findings for fortune and vitality. It bridges the communication of our higher self to our physical selves, to even that of the extraterrestrials and beings beyond this terrestrial plane. And it's also a massive manifester, so it brings in what you ask for, but also gets rid of anything in the way of you getting there. So it is not very pleasant. It's not very nice. As much as people say they love it, it'll kick your ass. That's why like a lot of these things, even though they have that higher awareness const uh, energy to them, we're throwing in some very protective and grounding energy to keep ourselves on the ground as we're blowing our brains open. And then... Of course, we have to use a little something to either bridge it together or direct those energies a little bit more. So first, we're going to be bridging things with, of course, if you're talking about bridging and energy work, kyanite. Kyanite bridges. It connects things from one place to another. If there is a clog in a stream because of a dam or blockage, this will break it open, create a channel for it to pass through, or it'll make another one to go around it. Whatever needs to be done, kyanite will do it. It's wonderful. It's the softest stone I've ever known. It doesn't kick your ass. It just does what needs to be done and moves things forward. And then because with all of this higher energies coming through, most important thing we need to do is making sure we're coming through with integrity, which is why Azurine is coming in here because it's going to help keep ourselves aware of the self without getting lost into this higher dimensional energy and forgetting that like we're just a little person on a large planet in an even larger cosmos. So to keep ourselves kind of intact, keeping that like integrity of self there, it'll keep us from getting lost. Okay. Shit. I'll fix you in a second. Oh, it wasn't too bad. So without further ado, let us connect ourselves in to the four directions. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now let's get started. To the east, to the winds, to the dragon's wing, to movement, freedom, the search of knowledge, and everlasting movement. All the things with wings that fly and soar and glide. We ask you to be our guides in this new step of the journey. 
and we welcome you. Next to the south, to the flames of the phoenix and the dragon, to the light that got, keeps us, keeps the shadows at bay, to the fuel that pushes us forward, keeps us moving, keeps us warm, that fuel of ambition, that fire of passion, that creative spirit spark that lives within all to the great salamanders we welcome you in to the west to the earth the great serpent's belly all the things great and small that run jump climb and crawl all things that have been, that are, and that will be. To the plants, to the trees, to all that gives us life and nourishment, to our ancestors. We welcome you in. And then to the north, to the water, the leviathans, the great creatures of the sea and the smallest things that exist within water, the emotions that guide us, or I should say that fill us, the depth and vastness of a wisdom we have yet to tap into. And the thing that makes it so that all life as we know it is so. We welcome you in. To the great father spirit above us. The great celestial serpent. Guiding us. Teaching us. Letting us know your ways. Looking over us every day. We welcome you in. And lastly, to the here and to the now, to this timelessness, there is everything and nothing simultaneously. We are here and we are living. We are dead. We are everything and nothing all in this moment, all that is now. We welcome that in. Okay, before I go too far, grab some extra toys. So much more gold. Lovely. Okay. So as kind of been said already with what's going on with these energies, it's going to be very foundational, very structural energy for this season. So we're going to take some time to make sure we fortify and ground ourselves as we go through and burst everything open. So let's see. How are we going to play today? Of course. Putting that K2 right in the center to have that foundation existing as we go to open ourselves up to something higher and greater. And then once we do that, we can 
open ourselves up to that higher perception. This is something I also get really adamant about. Is if you're going to learn anything about the third eye. And how to awaken shit. Know how to ground yourself first. Don't just go flying off the handle. Because you think, oh, it might be fun. That's dumb. That's not safe. Have a steady ground. Know how to land before you fly across the ocean. Yes, it's good to know how to fly and take flight. If you can't touch down, then what's the point? Put these little sphere boys right there. Like this is why Azerite's so interesting because it'll just form these little balls as it's melting under with the lava and just drip. <laughs> if it hits something it can it melts into, it'll melt. But if it doesn't and it hits something softer like sand, like the outer side will, will crust over, but then the inside balls up. Okay. With all of this, is we are opening a door. Some people will say, like, get a little touchy if you call this a portal, even though it is. It's like, it's a portal within ourselves. It's nothing that we would do to harm ourselves, because hopefully we're not that ignorant. Still need to take precautions. Mm. Mm -hmm. now this is where things are going to get kind of interesting. Because having Moldavite in a mix like this is just a little unnerving. Because I know what Moldavite can do. But man, if it says it wants to play, you have to listen. Because otherwise it'll make it, make you listen. Those who don't know, you will. The intention that Azurine sets is one of the self. It is very much trying to keep you in mind because we won't, don't always do that for ourselves. And helps you remember that you can be as great as you think you can. Or as some other people say. 
We don't always believe it about ourselves, but it's there. We have the fortitude, we have the strength. Sometimes we just need a little bit more of that confidence. You know? A little bit more, just someone patting us on the back saying, hey, you got this. those guys if I go like this Yes, yes, yes. Pink. Okay, I'm seeing. I'm seeing now. Okay. Okay. I need to get one more. Bigger. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna amp up on that integrity. It's all coming together now. I'm going to need more kinetic.
Balance, folks, balance. All right. Oop. Oop. Surprisingly, isn't kicking me in my face yet, which I am ever grateful for. But God knows once I turn it on, I won't be so lucky. Apparently this bag is nothing but shards now. I have to do something with all that.
I have another one, we have four. So poopy, so poopy, so poopy, so poopy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Now the only question is, is, is that a good enough thing for the center? No, I don't think so. So if y'all don't mind, give me like 10 seconds. Yeah, this is much more fitting, so yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move these guys a little bit. Alright, well, so the Priscilla Blue must stay. But then this shall be coming to play. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is my boomstick. I refer to this as my dragon labradorite. I mean, that doesn't look like a dragon in flight. I don't know what it is. Or an elephant's head. Your choice. We can go and set you like that. <coughs> or not. Not the most sturdy, so. Oh, Skabooch, 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 and just set this guy right like that, put that underneath, oh yeah, now it's coming. I see it. It's happening. Where's my fire stick? I have it. Oh. Before we go do much anything at this moment, let's uh, give this a little cleanse and seal. Give it a little bird's eye view. Make sure everybody's in alignment, doing their thing. Bada boom, bada bing. Lighten that Palo, Palo Palo Santo. Mm -mm.
together. It's taking its time. Got things definitely slowed down some of the intensity that can exist with this. But as you see, it's there. Slowly picking up. Mm -hmm. Down to the south. Yeah, you see, all I needed was a second to catch into itself, and there it goes. You can pull that. Everybody's all together, nice and happy and set. We should make sure that it's grounded. Mm-hmm. This one's following the pathways. Where the other one wanted it more circular. This is like, hey, there's lines going through. Channels we gotta follow. Let's make sure that we follow them. And not get lost wandering into the unknown. Because then once we know where we're going, how the energy is flowing, it's like they say, you follow the river downstream to get where it's going, but you follow it upstream to know where it's been. And once you know where you're going, that's when you can take off and start running. Don't just blindly run into the woods. That's how you get lost. And as our man, Chad Diamond Dan, would say, it's time to seal the deal. Without further ado, 
put on the little dude. And this is our grid. This is what we're going to be working with in this month of June. It's a strong perceptive energy. It's reminding us to keep our feet on the ground as we pay attention to the world around us. Not to get sidetracked and lost by the shiny and distracting things. We're here to learn, to grow, and always move upwards and outwards. And with that, my friends, I bid you adieu. Good night, happy full moon, and I'll see you next month.